I am going on about eight years of experience in the IT and cybersecurity field, and I have made so many mistakes. In this video, I'm gonna go over what I wish I had done eight years ago that would have sped up my process significantly. Stay to the end of the video and it may just save you years of time, frustration, and stagnation, which is something nobody probably wants. If you're wanting to explore more into cybersecurity and all of the fields that exist, I do have a free 50 niche cybersecurity freebie below that you can check out. And this will broaden your mind to all of the possibilities that exist in cybersecurity. And please comment below on some mistakes or regrets that you have in your life or with your career, the absolute first thing that I would have done was get a really good grasp on the IT fundamentals. This is more important than you probably realize if you're just looking into cybersecurity because cybersecurity is essentially computer security. According to Google, it protects lots of either data, your computer systems, networks, prevents vulnerabilities in different coding practices. You want a good basis of what a network is, what a server is, what is a router and a switch, what are the differences between the operating systems, and what are different vulnerabilities that apply to each one of these. In order to fully understand cybersecurity concepts, such as various types of cybersecurity attacks and different vulnerabilities and threats and confidentiality and integrity and availability, you're really going to need to know the basics. And the best way to learn the basics is the Google IT support certification. I do have a review, which I'll link here, but also I have a link below. I would start there. Actually, leave this video and go start there right now. Otherwise, you're going to be watching endless amounts of YouTube videos. You're not going to make any progress. And this course also has a course on IT security. You'll have a, a better idea of what exactly is going on. And this is if you're a complete beginner, you don't know the difference between a router or a switch. Even if you want to go more on the development side, then and this is a great course. That link is below in the description. After I had gotten a good basis of IT, I would say shouldn't really take you more than about 60 days of consistent study one to two hours per day, every day, 60 days. Then afterwards, I would learn the basics of cybersecurity. The basics of cybersecurity are CIA principles, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. And that is a principle you absolutely need to know. You're gonna need to know the difference between a risk, threat, and vulnerability, different types of attacks that can occur. The biggest, weakest point in any system is usually people. You're gonna need to know about attacks and social engineering and just an awareness of those principles because it just automatically makes you a little bit more cognizant of all of the threats that exist in the world. Do you know like the difference between encryption and hashing? You need to get the good basics down and it's really hard to understand these things if you don't have a good knowledge of infrastructure. The best way to do this would be through the CompTIA Security Plus. I know it's like super cliche but that's because it really does give you a really good basis of cybersecurity and all of that. Don't take any shortcuts with this because this is your foundation. It's like building a house on a bad foundation. Please don't do that. This is also a certification that's strongly asked for by a lot of employers, private and public. And I do have a video here that goes more into depth on different study materials and a good studying strategy. You'll be able to think a little bit more about security and what type of field that you like because you've been exposed to it in Security Plus. So there are so many different fields in cybersecurity and if you try to go after all of them, you're just gonna be lost and confused and it's so important to choose a niche that you want to get good at. Some really popular niches are penetration testing. So you can become a penetration tester and what those skills are gonna look completely different than say if you do governance, risk, and compliance, GRC. So if you want to do that, I do have video on GRC, which is a great beginner job and say you choose GRC. Within GRC, you just choose one topic and you get really good at that topic. So say HIPAA. You want to learn everything there is about HIPAA. 
And HIPAA is a data privacy regulation. They have people who just do HIPAA regulation and make sure all of like the machines and equipment and all of that is in regulation of these government standards. Otherwise they're gonna get fined a lot. Choose a niche and stick with it. Maybe you want to become a cybersecurity analyst. I do have a video up here on exactly what they do. And you're gonna want to get enough knowledge to where you can get a job in that field. And that leads me to my next point is get a job as quickly as possible. All of these things are not gonna take you four years to master. Honestly, you could do IT and get a good basis in two months, Security Plus in two months of consistent study, and then choose your niche within two months. So that's six months of self-study that you could do and create projects on your selected niche. Get a job as quickly as possible and learn from there. So you're not gonna know what you like and what you don't like until you get a job. You have no idea. Maybe you will absolutely hate it, but if you don't make that decision, be like, I'm gonna do this and then get that job you hate. You're never gonna know that you hate it. You're gonna be in this loop of just going around in circles like, I want to do it, but not really. I want to do it, but I'm not sure if I'll like it. I want to do it, but I, I don't know. It's like that vacillating mindset that just will kill you. I would back and forth, like Seesaw Simpson is what they call it. Just get the job quickly as possible. If you hate it, move on. Maybe you'll really like it. Or maybe you'll find another job on that team that you really like and you can transfer to another job. You don't have to get it right the first time. So just get the job as quickly as possible. You also don't need to have all of the knowledge. Like they know that you're not gonna know what's going on. And they're always going to have job shadowing and there's gonna be more advanced people there that can help you. So it does seem a little bit intimidating, but they know that you're new and they, they don't really expect that much from you. But after six months, they probably will. Don't spend too long in the learning phase. Go, the, the link is below for the IT support certification. If you want to start now, I would go now. On to this topic is when you're getting a job as quickly as possible, make sure your resume is on point. And now on point is different for other people. I, a lot of resume advice on the internet is terrible. People not in tech don't understand tech. So you could go to resume service writers, but they're not going to understand fully the, the lingo of it. And then a lot of people in tech don't understand how to do resumes correctly. I do have a resume below because I have been studying resumes because mine was so bad for so long. And once you have a good resume, you should be getting more interviews and more callbacks. And if you're not, then you really need to look at your resume because it might be pretty bad. And keep in mind, you have to write it for four people, applicant, tracking system, human resources, HR, and the team that you'll be working on because they will all be looking at your resume. So you need to write it for all four of those people. And that is not an easy task to do. And most people just get this wrong. Once you have your first cyber security job, which you will, then you're going to want to hone on your skills. And that's also where you're going to figure out what you like and what you don't like. And it may take a while to figure out what you like and what you don't like. It's just kind of all part of the game. And if you just keep a lighthearted, like, attitude about it, it can be a ton of fun. So you're gonna explore different topics. You might hate networking or you might hate being a SOC analyst and reading logs all day. You may hate patching computers and doing vulnerability management. You may hate your, your compliance job, which I definitely did, but you always gain more context and more experience and you can use that as leverage for your next job. And I would say that's what I would do if I had to start over. And if you're interested in more cybersecurity careers and cybersecurity pathways, check out my videos here. Until next time, my friends, until next time.